This is Jabril from JabrilAgora.com, and today I'm going to be talking about some of the top African American lawyers in the country today. And the reason why I'm going to be talking about this is because some of these lawyers run some of the biggest businesses in the United States of America, and they also protect some of the biggest businesses in the United States of America, and they also take down some of the biggest businesses in the United States of America and worldwide also but um, mostly most of these lawyers are based in the United States and first up we have Ted Wells and his specialty is you know complex litigation and white collar crimes and you know Mr. Personality best describes Ted Wells when he is trying a case and he has a winning formula um, of one of the largest, you know, one of the, he's basically one of the, the nation's largest um, litigation attorneys for using his power. And next up, we have Bart Williams, which he also, like Ted, is a, a complex, uh, you know, litigation attorney, you know, white collar crimes. And with the string of, you know, recent scandals and CEOs who have been, you know, taken to fall, Bart Williams may have hit the gold mine, you know, to tailoring his practice to them. And also, we have Teresa Wynn Rosebero, who you know is a litigation attorney, and her career highlights um, came from you know a first-rate um, litigation, and her assertiveness and her cleverness and you know her intelligence is what you know made her so special. And we also have Elaine Jones, whose specialty is civil rights, and her career highlights is you know when she grew up in uh, Norfolk, Virginia. Uh, Jim Crow was uh, law and order, and as a little girl, she witnessed, you know, early on, America, <laughs> excuse that sound, and next up, we have, you know, Johnny Cochran uh, Jr., we all know his, his personal injury and product liability, and, you know, the name Johnny Cochran just, you know, it, it fears corporate giants, I mean, they know who Johnny Cochran Jr. is, and he deals with very high-profile people. And also, we have Sharon R. Barner, and her specialty is intellect, um, yeah, intellectual property and patent. And, you know, truly ingenious companies rely on creators' breakthroughs, you know, hard work, and someone to protect and defend, you know, defend these innovation. And that's where Sharon comes in. And we have Dennis C. Sweet, um, who is, you know, personal injury and a product liability. And with, you know, 90, with a 95% winning, um, that, that's his percentage of winning in personal injury and product liability cases and punitive damages in the millions. It's no wonder why, you know, people talk about Dennis so highly. And then we have Nina L. Shaw, who is in the entertainment um, and sports industry. And she, you know, obviously represents some of the biggest names, you know, in entertainment and sports. And, you know, down in Florida, we have Willie E. Gary, um, who is also, uh, he's in personal injury and product liability. And basically, Gary, he likes the little guys. He's kind of like, you know, the biblical tale of David and Goliath. You know, Willie has um, represented little known clients against major corporations. And this is, you know, basically built his career. And He's a name to be reckoned with down in Florida. Well, basically, worldwide. He flies all over the place. He has a pretty cool private jet. I've actually seen it. Um, and John Payton, he's also a civil rights um, lawyer. And he, you know, he's a law student of Harvard. And he, he's been, you know, one of the top lawyers um, just because of his, uh, you know, history and knowledge of, you know, his field makes him one of the best lawyers. And we have. Paul T. Williams, who is also, you know, a litigation um, attorney, and William has re represented, you know, government agencies and corporate clients, you know, including, you know, automobile manufacturers and financial institutions. And, you know, next up we have Michael H. Reed, and his specialty is bankruptcy, and he obviously represents large firms that are going through bankruptcy. And there are so many more um, powerful African-American black lawyers, but um, I just want to keep this kind of short. <laughs> so this is all I'm going to feature right now. And I will break down some of the lawyers individually so you can find out more of, you know, how they came up and, you know, their history, their biography, 
And this is Jabril from JabrilAgora.com. And remember, if you go into the top, you want to mess with the best because people will try and take you down when you reach the top. So proper protection from a great lawyer is a need. <laughs> it's not, you know, okay, I will think about it. It's an absolute necessity. It's like going, it's suicide if you don't have a great lawyer by your side. And this is Jabril from JabrilAgora.com and make it a great day.